Yanobox has released MoType 2. This is a feature-rich update that combines powerful motion titling capabilities and unique styling options. In this video, I'll focus on animation using the Motion Mixer and share some tips and ideas for animating your text. For these demos, I'll be using MoType inside Final Cut Pro, but MoType works in Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Apple Motion. Know that documentation is available from the help button that appears in the inspector. The documentation will give you detailed descriptions of each parameter within the various groups of the inspector. Whether working with characters, trails, or particles, your first interaction with type will be through the text editor at the top of the inspector. FX Factory's text editor will feel similar to text edit built into Mac OS. Text that is placed on the top line or headline and formatting text with underline and outline are options that can be used to isolate and control characters in the animation. When exploring presets, always open the text editor to see how certain formatting affects the resulting animation. Let's start looking at the preset MoType 2 Light Rays. We can observe how the use of underlining creates unique results in the final design. The text editor, along with groups of parameters under characters and layout, are the main areas for control over the design of your text graphic. Three parameters in the character group I want to highlight. With font scale, you can adjust the global size of the graphic, which is useful when adapting to alternative aspect ratios. Color source gives you a way to override colors assigned in the text editor and isolate underlying text to make it stand out. The checkbox for always fill outlines will make sure that the characters of your text have a fill color, but any applied trails or particles will still be outlines of those characters. Let's switch presets to build out trails. Here, I want to demonstrate the two methods under the layout group. Free is the usual default, but if you want a word processing text box experience, switch to rectangle and enable the bounding box. Two points will give you access to the upper left and lower right corners for adjusting the layout. Before exporting your project, be sure to disable the bounding box. While in this rectangle layout method, you can return to the text editor and change paragraph alignments to be a mix of styles. Under horizontal alignment, an option for text editor alignment allows that custom layout to translate from the editor to your graphic on screen. The last composition related topic I want to point out is at the bottom of the inspector under the group labeled transformations. These transformation parameters will give you control over a virtual camera to animate in a 3D space around your graphic. Remember to refer to the documentation from the help button if any questions arise as you're working with MoType. Now let's move on to animation with motion timing and motion mixer. I would briefly like to review some presets to get acquainted with parameters that relate to animations. We'll start with the preset starting point. Let's focus our attention under motion timing to understand the links between the parameters duration, synchronize, interpolation, and under motion mixer, the parameter opacity fade. It is good to know that any adjustments applied to opacity fade will affect all text and that changes to motion timing parameters are linked to the fade percentage. At 0%, the fade is disabled. At 100%, you'll notice the fade takes place linearly over the 60 frames of duration. And at 50%, the fade takes 30 frames to complete. 
Being aware and understanding this link will help you to accomplish the exact timing you're trying to land with specific animations. Changing the interpolation will speed ramp those changes according to the option you choose. The synchronized parameter is how many elements are simultaneously animating together, or the spread of the effect over all the elements. At 0%, each individual element animates alone. And at 100, all elements, or characters in this case, fade together all at once over that 60 frames. In both of these parameter examples, I showed the result of values at each extreme end of the slider. This is a good way to help to come to understand the effect that a parameter might have on your animation. I'm going to adjust animate and position Z to help explain another feature. When encountering an option labeled symmetry, understand that this parameter will invert and alternate every other element in your text. For example, in position symmetry, you can choose which axis will have an element inversion applied to alternate the position of movement. With animate in the motion timing group set to word, we can see each word alternating from opposing values I set for position Z. If I switch to character, then each character alternates. There are symmetry options for position, rotation, and the rotation origin. These let you create a lot of variety in your animation. Next, let's open the preset Selective Animation. As always, first look at the text editor, where we can see I and N are formatted with an underline. Under Motion Mixer, the parameter for rotation apply to is set to underlined. This explains why only the first two characters have additional animation applied to them. Let me zero out a few parameters and show a tip for animating motion. At the bottom of the Motion Mixer group, enable Show Motion Path for valuable feedback as to how your animation is being accomplished. Similar to the bounding box guides, do not forget to disable this before exporting. I can see that rotation origin is set to the character elements position. And if I rotate the Z axis, I start to see the trails appear around the characters as the resulting animation. If I reduce the X origin offset, we can see it creates a large ring where the characters start and end. Offsetting the origin is like creating a second origin value to expand the range of the axis involved. Finally, making the characters rotate along the X axis in the opposite degrees will get us back to that infinity loop look we started with. And through use of those yellow guides from show motion paths, we can visualize the results of the animation with every change. The values for origin offset will affect rotation and scale parameters within the motion mixer. So far, we focused on reviewing the values of parameters within various presets to better understand how to use motion timing and motion mixer groups of MoType. This reverse engineering approach is a valuable technique to become well-versed with creating your own designs and animations from scratch. In the next two videos, we'll take a similar approach to look at trails and particles.